got in there, so I'm absolutely buzzing. Uh, just wanted to make a quick video today to introduce you to the Blue Jay. This is my new van. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Henry Turner. I am a professional landscape photographer, and this beast here, I've just purchased for that exactly. This is the new work van, guys. Um, and what an asset this is gonna be to a landscape photographer. I'm fulfilling a little bit of a dream. To some, this might just look like a rubbish little builder's van or something, but no, this has been a dream of mine for a long old time, like before I was even into photography, to be fair. So, yeah, good stuff. Um, so I wanna show you around it. So first things first, before we get into it, the Blue Jay hat. The car is called the Blue Jay, and we've even got, I'll show you this now. Look at that. That is a 1999, McDonald's Happy Meal toy, and that is Rocket the Blue Jay. Um, what's the story with the Blue Jay? Because a lot of my regular subscribers ask me this. I lived in Toronto for around about a year, and not into baseball at all, couldn't care less, but it's a really nice memory. Probably get a little Blue Jay sticker for the back and everything. Um, so yeah, that's the story with that. Anyway, this is a Fiat Doblo Maxi. Maxi means that it's a long wheelbase. Um, which means that I can sleep in the back. It is exactly 2,170 millimetres <laughs> um, in the back. I am 1,800 millimetres in height, around about 5 foot 11, something like that. So I can fit in the back there comfortably. And that was the main thing. Uh, it's a 2016 model and it's got 60,000 miles on the clock. So absolutely buzzing with that. I have traded in my Peugeot, which I was a little bit sceptical about. So this is now also my personal car as well but small sacrifice for a big game um, so I have done a little bit of work to the van already when I bought it it came with a load of racking in the back it was an act actually a previous um, SSE vehicle so it was leased out to a company called SSE which is like an energy company here in the UK um, so my first job really was to strip out all of the racking. Now what I'm going to do over the next few weeks is do a little van build series. I have done a little bit of work already which confusingly enough is going to be in next week's video and that is how I've insulated the floor but hit the subscribe button and you'll get a notification for that next week. Um, also these deadening panels as well I'll talk about them um, but yeah lovely and roomy in the back and the idea is strip it down to its bare bones, which is what I've done, and just build it, turn it into a camper van. It did also have a bulkhead in the back as well to separate the cab from the back of the van itself, which was this big black steel thing here. That was actually a nightmare to get out. <laughs> it's also got as well, let me show you this, these little lights that came with it, which was obviously because it was a work van, the cab light and the interior rear. And they control them lights in the back. That's pretty snazzy. That's going to help me out <laughs> when it's into a camp, turned into a camper van. So at the minute, all I'm seeing with this van is pure potential for the purpose that I want it for. So like I said, I'm going to have a bed in the back here. I'm going to use this to sleep in, but I'm going to try my best to do a really good build here. Like, and um, maybe, I don't want to say things because I don't know if I'm definitely going to do them, but maybe get you know, a sink, running water, um, I'm definitely going to have power. Um, I've already planned out my electrical setup. We'll get into that in some of the later videos. Uh, I'm going to get a window installed, probably on this panel here. Um, you know, like a tinted privacy sort of window. And that'll, I think that's going to be a big one. That's really going to make it feel like a camper van, isn't it? Um, I'll probably carpet the insides. Um, a lot of decisions I haven't really made yet, to be honest. So. Um, you know, it, it might change, it might change. I'm definitely going to keep the front passenger seat in, but I've always wanted to make sure that there's a way that I can come into the van from the front, from the cab, so that I don't have to go outside to get into the back, you know, if I'm going to bed or coming in the back to cook or anything like that. Um, just trying to think what else. So another couple of things, I have wired in a reversing camera there, which will get neatened up once I start carpeting these walls or whatever it is that I'm doing. Um, however, it's a little bit of an older one. <laughs> I think it might be a little bit rubbish, but it'll be easy to upgrade. I'll just have to find a good one online. Uh, this is also quite cool. Um, this here is actually 
a vent. It's like a wind powered vent that you see on a lot of work vans. You can see him going around there now. Um, I think they're called Fletner, Fletner vents. Now, ventilation for me is going to be so important in this van um, because I want to cook inside and obviously just being in such a small space, breathing, you know, condensation is likely going to be a problem. So I'll probably just see how I get on with this vent. Um, worst case scenario, I'll have to change it out for like a 12 volt vent that's plugged in through the electricity, obviously, and it can actually extract air out of the van. But yeah, like I said, I'll see how I get on with that. I'd say it'll likely be okay. Oh, I have to show you this as well, get a look. Nice little fire extinguisher down there as well from when it was a work van. That saves me a bit of dosh. Mm, you gonna stay there? Yeah. Well, that is us, me and Rocky. <laughs> it took me ages to... Right, we're still new friends. He's not getting used to me just yet. Um, anyway, please hit the subscribe button if you would like to follow this van build series of this micro camper van which is definitely what it's going to be. Um, and yeah, big thanks to my um, you know, regular subscribers for your continued support. Um, and yeah, I'll see you later. Out!